Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Infra, the game where we get to see what video games think I actually do for a living. <laughs> if only they knew the horror. Ah yes, yeah, so last time we were stopping corruption, that's right. Yeah, so we just came down this lift shaft. Uh, the lift broke. We had a very, very close near miss. Uh, obviously, we didn't call it in as a near miss. We just carried on as we were. So we got a locked door here. I assume you want to try and get through there. So let's go back into the security room. And we've got this security door control. So doors can only be opened when the power is on. Check the main switches downstairs. <laughs> I love that that's built onto this panel. Where's the convenient you are here sign? <laughs> uh, in case of security threat, a door could be overridden in the control room. Okay, so we got to get to the control room there, and we're currently in security here. Okay, so that's where we were trying to get through. We we're trying to get into the turbine hall, and it looks like the turbine hall power is lit off. So we're going to have to go down there, I think. Let's check. So this door, that door's locked, and I think that's, assuming we're there, so that must be that switch. So if we turn that, that goes green. Ah, light is green, and we can open it. Nice. So all the yellow ones we can't change until we get to the control room. So we'll open that one and that one. But essentially, we've got to go downstairs and turn the power back on. Right. Oh, wow. This, this building's proper, like, carved into the wall. All right. So the lab is locked, but there's a convenient note here. The electrician linked the lock of this door with the main fuse of the lab. This will be fixed soon. Ah, so we're outside and you can see the dam. You can see we highlighted this problem last time. A massive crack in the dam wall. Can you see that? Anyway, we'll go back in and... Oh, are they mushrooms? Do you want to know a, a gross story? So when I was at uni, we used to play this game called Dirty Dollar. And Dirty Dollar is... It's like a drinking game, I guess. But you don't need to drink. You just... Uh, someone has the dollar and they set a challenge. And whoever completes that challenge, they then get that dollar. And they can set a challenge for someone else if they want to try and earn the dollar. So essentially, it's just trying to get your mates to do really stupid stuff. And uh, one of my mates' bathrooms... Because it was a bit, because it was a student hall, it's a bit grimy, uh, it was damp and stuff. It had mushrooms growing in it, like literal fungus growing like out the floor of this toilet. So someone just set the challenge, eat one, and my mate, <laughs> my mate John, yes he did, he ate the hell out of it. Right, I'm sneaking my way into here. Nice. I don't think I would actually do this in my real day job. I think if that was locked, I would just wouldn't come in here. I'd phone up and be like, nah, it's too hard. Maybe I don't try hard enough. I'm not entirely sure. Can we open this from this side? No, we still can't open that. Oh, look, there's the keys. Pick up the keys. Now we can open it. There we go. So it looks like we're after a fuse. And I don't know whether to hit the switches. I might not, because I'm a bit scared. We'll just have a little wander first. Nah, I've had a wander. There's nothing. Let's hit. I don't know what he's on. It's on. On's usually up, I think. So I think we'll do that one. Ooh. That sparked. I can hear electricity. I can actually follow the wires. Where do they go? They go through here. Oh, look. This now has a light on. <gasps> I'm dying. Sorry, I was choking there. Right. It looks like we've powered on this flooded turbine room. Not entirely sure of the way through. This door's now unlocked. That's back where security is. There you go. And you can see turbine hall power is now on. So we've unlocked everything in advance. We've just got to get over there into the control room. So I'm guessing you would usually walk along here, but it looks like these have fallen down. I would not stand on here if I could see that I collapsed. Super dangerous. So I'll back off. I will back off. It doesn't seem to be a way round. There's over there. So if I go through this door, there you go. We can bypass it. Nice. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> It's locked, which means we need to find another way. I think at this point, if this was real life, I would literally be phoning my boss and being like, there's a major problem down here. Uh, we've got to get some pumps, pump out this water, because it's, it's not good. It's really not good. But I assume as this is a video game, we don't have that option. Yeah, I imagine the water is electrified. So I probably do not want to frick you now. <laughs> Shit, me. <laughs> Sparks under my feet. Oh, for some reason I can pick up box. Oh, great. Yes. This is not realistic. You would not do this in real life. Anyone watching this, this is not what an engineer does. <laughs> All right, another box under here. Right. Oh, we haven't quite made it. We need one more box. Ow! <laughs> oh, I died. This is why we don't do stuff like this in real life. To be honest, could I just parkour? Could I be like, parkour? Yes. And then... Oh, wait. No, I've been that way. Oh, bollocks. Parkour, parkour. Right, this time I'm going to use a box to collect more boxes. So that is realistic. Right, and there we go. To safety. 
you imagine if you actually did that in real life? I'm pretty sure electricity doesn't work like that anyway. I know maybe it does because it's so such a high voltage, but I'm pretty sure if it was such a high voltage, like it would probably shock me from there anyway. Especially as like these guardrails are well in the water. So I just lean against that like, ah, oh, that was hard work. I would be fried. Uh, ooh, that looks like a bit of damage. Should I take a photo? Someone should get that fixed. Yes, when you get that ringing noise, that means you found a problem. And the idea of this game is just take loads of photos of all the problems. All right, so now I can open this. This is my way back. Unbolt that sorted. So we can go that way back. Let's read this. So I just said the boss of this place went a bit mental. Changing all the locks. Getting really paranoid about stuff. I probably would swig a little cheeky beer. Maybe shove that in the backpack for later. Oops. So then into here. And there is the control room. So we're in the control room. There's a big red button. <laughs> I want to press it. Right, so just listen to a tape recording, and it basically said some rich dude bought the place and then ran it into disrepair, and some crap's about to go down. But we'll have to see what that's all about later. But now I found the security door override, and it looks like as the ones over there, I left them pointing at the yellow ones, it means that I can unlock these. So I got a door there, which is to my left, so I assume it's that one. So if I click that... No, it's still, it's still red. It's still red. Oh, I think maybe if they're all on off, then if I go back... Thankfully, we can go along here now, rather than doing some super marrying. Now you can see the yellows are all off, so we can turn them to green. Oh, okay, okay. So now we've unlocked all the doors everywhere. Awesome. All right, it's so back in this room, and now this one is green. So, ooh, there's a tunnel. I don't know whether to walk down a tunnel. Tunnels are scary. Let's have a look. Do I have a flashlight? F, yeah, F for flashlight. Oh, there's a collapse. Can't go down. That's very pretty dangerous looking. I would not go down there. Right, remember the name, Alex Hartman. He's the CEO of the Hydra plant. I wonder if he did something bad. Is that what the tape guy was talking about? All right, so we'll go through this exit door. I assume we're on the lookout for a fuse for that lab fuse box. But uh, we shall see. Pretty nice lighting down here. Fair play. Ah, oh, yes, these have been labeled very handily with things, stuff, and files. Ooh, okay, so the secretary left us a little secret note about the goings-on. It's basically Hartman, the guy on the wall. He got into debt with the company. And what things What things have we got? What things we got? We got There's no things. There's no things. And I blamed some bloke called Walter. So, I wonder what that was all about. Oh, this might be his office. Has he got any bridges? Any bridges? Peacocks? That's a tower, not a bridge. No. Disappointing. Why does he have a box of sausages? Oh, that's a guard. <laughs> I thought they were sausages. Oh god, it looks like there's loads of dodgy stuff going on. Alright, let's take a photo of this. Anyway, can't be getting involved in that. I'm just a humble engineer. I'm not getting involved in the politics or everything. Right, can I take a photo of that? Ah, oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta take photos of everything. I forgot every single document you must take a photo of. Now, I also noticed over here there's like these switches. Gen 1. Gen 2. Not sure whether to press them. And also the big red button. Alright, take a photo of that one. And grab a beer for the road. It's a long journey back to the control room. Alright, I'll leave that there next to the uh, red button. Oh, bollocks. Alright, so we'll go this way through the exit sign. Ooh, and we're back. We're back outside. Across the other side. Oh god, that was a weird... <laughs> I was like, the sky is underneath my feet. But no, it's, it's just a very reflective puddle. So, oh, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> All right, so through here we got some transformers, it looks like. And then up here, ooh, this is where the power comes in, the pylons. Let's have a look in the switchyard breaker. Here we go. Remember, synchronization. There are two synchroscrape. There are two synchroscrape. <laughs> there are two synchroscrape. There are two syn... There are two synchroscrapes. <laughs> there are two synchroscrapes in the control room. Use them before you do this. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, so before I turn those on, I'm going to go hit those synchroscope, synchroscopes, synchroscopes. <laughs> Why was that so tricky to say? Synchroscopes. All right, so Gen 1 is a go. Gen 2 is a go. They're not... That didn't really do anything, did it? Do you think I was meant to turn this on? Should I do that? Oh, I don't know what it would do. I don't like pressing big red buttons. Let's have a glug, 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 glug. All right, sod it. Ready? Oh, she's powering on. Ooh, we got a TV screen. All right, now, what do these say? Nothing. All right, let's see if this does anything now. No, it seems like there's no power going to it. Ooh, what's this one? There you go, here we go. Generators are off. Make sure the RPM is exactly 3,000 in both generators before activating them. 
Oh, okay. So I can open the sluice gate. That's the thing blocking the water. So as you raise it up, more water comes through. So as I open that, it spins the turbines quicker. So I've got to get that up to 3,000. How exact is exact? Does that look good? I think that looks good. That's bang on 3,000. Come on. Oh, there's sluice gate 2. Get out of the way, bloody door. All right, so we've got to raise this one up to 3,000 as well. All right, sorted. Both lights on. Let's hit the switch. <gasps> Generators on. Ooh. Would I be doing this as an engineer surveying this building? <laughs> I think you can answer that one yourselves. Oh, okay, so I think I've got to hit this switch when it's bang in the middle. I got a green. I got a green light. That's got to be good. Right, I've got two green switches. There's a lot of green going on. I think I know what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing it. <laughs> That's not the point. Bloody door. <laughs> that is quite realistic. I always struggle with doorways. <laughs> Ow, and again. <laughs> All right, so now I've hit everything on. I should just be able to... Right, I'm not entirely sure what to do with this one. Do I... That's not a button, is it? No. Do I just hit disconnect switch? Ooh, I think we've just turned on the power. To the power plant. No, we're producing power. I don't know what way power goes. Do I walk up there? Is that just asking for death? I want to know what's up there. I think I've got to play this realistically, haven't I? And I would not go anywhere near that. But it's a video game, so we've gone through. Okay, I'm glad my boss thinks the same. I just I just told him that I noticed I noticed the hydro dam wasn't connected to the grid. So don't worry, boss, I connected it back up. The boss was like, Are you sure that's a good idea, Matt? Like, that's not really any of our job. We're just meant to take photos of damage. But uh yeah, apparently I think it is. So I've also noticed these like proper toadstool mushrooms. Look at them. Yeah, but anyway, cool look. We've got like a claw. The claw. Okay, so it looks like, I think the logs bypass the dam. You can see like a chute way over there. That's like where the hole was on the top in the first episode. I think they come down, the logs float down here, get caught by that gate, and then someone scoops them up onto here. They roll onto this. I think that's like, sort of like a chainsaw, but not, not designed to cut. I think they're designed to move it. So it's basically like a conveyor belt, and the logs will come up this ramp. It's a bit like a roller coaster, like the bit. Then logs come in here where they get sawed, planed, sanded, and turned into planks. The humble plank. Cool. Well, I'm learning stuff today. Oh, we got a funicular. So funicular railways are like, they're like on a cable. Can you see there's two cables wibbling? So as you turn it on, it pulls you up a steep slope. So they're often used in like mountainous areas, like the Alps and stuff. They're also used at like seaside resorts in the UK. I remember there's one, there's one in Hastings in the southeast. They're like Victorian era as well. I'll, I'll put a photo up on screen. There you go. Look how cool that is. Found another toilet outside one. This time with a love heart in it. Very romantic. I notice there's not a bucket of turds around this one. <laughs> if you watched the first episode, you will know the extreme enjoyment that bucket brought me. Oh my god. What are they? Have I picked up a poo? <laughs> I've picked up a poo. Can I throw the poo? Oh. All right, I'm going to launch this at a car as it's driving by. This is just standard, standard site visit banter, this is. Uh, find a turd, you throw it onto the live carriageway that you're trying to make safe. Oh, God. <laughs> that didn't sound good. Anyway, back to the job at hand. We've got the world's steepest staircase here. A very precariously hanging motor there. And nothing else down here, just some nice lighting effects. There is a door here which leads... Ooh, a newspaper with some red pen on it. No wonder there were problems getting logs through because the dam got bankrupt. Take a photo of that. Looks like they only found out because of the newspaper. The guy who owns the plant didn't let these guys know. Dick. Yes! <laughs> My favourite word has made it into a video game. No, not sugar. Bollocks. <laughs> That's incredible. I'm taking a photo of that. I don't care. Bollocks. Nice. Photo of the day, that is. All right, nothing else in this room, it seems. Just a little log fire and so I could jump down there. Shall I? Ow! <laughs> that was quite far. I meant to land on the box, but I missed. A very dark room. Let's uh, get the old torch out. Can we open that? Can open that. We'll have a look in there in a second. So in here we've got some boxes. I assume I'm going to be a very safe engineer on a site visit and just climb these. Yep, thought so. I've got to do a thorough inspection. Right, we've got some boxes. I assume we're going to need them then. We'll take them down. Oh, we could use them to get up there actually. I wonder if that's what we should be doing. May as well have a little look. So up this one. Up that one. 
Not that one. Oh, we, we found some porn. Nice. <laughs> Take a photo of that. Ah, I just picked up some keys, I think. I tried to pick up the beer, but <laughs> got distracted by the keys. They're so shiny. I'm like a magpie. I assume... Yes, there's a padlock here. Unlock that. What is through here? Fire extinguisher. Oops. <laughs> That's how you test fire extinguishers. So I was just testing to make sure it still works. All right, so that just says the the mill never received their payment for the lumber. They sent the wood, but they never got paid. Not good. And then if we go through here, ah, spider webs. Right, so there's a door here that's locked. It's got the old red light. I'm guessing we're going down another set of steep stairs. So another flooded turbine room. It's a bit ominous, isn't it? Right, power really? Standing in the water after what happened earlier. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Let's get out before we get electrocuted. Oh, no, it does actually kill us. <laughs> God. Oh, wow. Maybe that's actually what I need the boxes for. Yeah, I'm going to grab these boxes and uh, stand on them. I wonder, can I carry two like that? Yes, but I can't fit them through the door. Oh, I can't actually, can I not actually take the boxes? Oh, I can, I can. They do fit. Will they fit down the stairs? Yes, okay, I think that's what we're doing. And the final one... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> How am I going to get down? Alright, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to try and hit the switch and then jump on there straight away. We made it, we made it. I thought I died, I thought I died then. <laughs> right, we've turned the power on. I don't know if I can make this jump though. Oh god, I'm scared. Ready? Bollocks! <laughs> right, we did it this time. I just, I just ran. Hit the switch and ran back. Screw the wooden blocks. But, uh, but power's on. That's good. So I think wherever that door was, here it is. We can get through this now. Nice. Oh, and they've emptied this gully. No, that one's not clogged up because that really did annoy me last episode. Uh, I'm going to assume this is locked. Yeah, it's locked. So we're, we're climbing again. It's just a normal site visit. Just climb, climb everywhere. Climb your way out of here. We won't be able to get back, but who cares? Because we're an engineer. We can climb stuff. All right, so we're going to head this way through the woods. Oh, we're on a footpath now. We can go up the infinite steps or along there. Let's try these steps. Oh, there was a bridge that way, though. I feel like this might have been the wrong decision. Ooh, a bird. Oh, Hammer Valley Birds. I assume this is like a bird lookout tower, is it? A bird watching tower. It's a bit dodgy. There's like a hole and a thing missing. But uh, oh, now we can see the dam. We can see where we came from. Possibly where we're going. I assume we're going up that funicular. It looks like there's a bit of debris down there. Yes, another photo for the bank. I'm a bit concerned. All these boulders have like holes in them. Can you see that? There's a hole up there. There's a hole there. There's a hole there and there and down there. <laughs> right, the question is, would I go rock climb? I probably would. Let's have a look. Let's see if there's anything around here. No, I don't think there's anything. And now I'm worried I'm going to fall down one of those holes. Holy boulders. All right, back along the bridge then, I guess. Real slide. Ow, that hurt. No fishing. Right, this looks a bit risky. There's some big holes in this bridge. Ah, oh, I should probably take a photo of that, shouldn't I? I'm pretty sure not yes. And what was the other thing that had a hole in? It was the lookout tower. Oh, God. Can you believe I'm actually holding the sprint bus? There's a, there's a slower run than this. All right, take a photo of that. Sorted. Is that graffiti? Is that my problem? No. Don't care about graffiti. Only actual defects. Right, so we go this way first or along the funicular? I'm not sure. I think you'll have to find out next episode because I'm going to leave it there, guys. But uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what video games think I do for a living. Uh, let me know if you want more. Give the video a like, as always, and peace, love, and holy bridges. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.